Hey, how's it going? Jika here from Mix Analog, and I'm happy to let you know that we finally managed to implement the mid-side and parallel processing capability into our platform. It doesn't look like much, with just two buttons and a switch, but in practice it nearly doubles the possibilities with our compressors and EQs. To demo, I'll use the track that's already featured in our VCA compressor shootout, it's called Gravediggers, performed by Hollow State, of which the multitrack for educational purposes is available on the link below. Now enough of me talking to the camera, let's see how we can use the new functionality. Basics first, here are the controls. The two buttons regulate the level of the dry and the wet signal, and the checkbox enables or disables the mid-side matrix. We'll check that mode first, and for that I'll use our beloved Fairchild 670 compressor. The Fairchild already has a lateral vertical mode, which is in fact mid-side mode, just named differently after the movement of the needle on the vinyl records, for which this compressor limiter was originally designed for. But there is one drawback. The input gain controls are placed before the MS matrix, so there is no way to control the level of the mid and side channel separately. That would probably make sense if you would have to align the left and right channels precisely before going mid-side to minimize the low-end content leakage into the side channel because of a slight left-right imbalance, but with the most of the production done digitally today, this is very rarely an issue. What we usually want to achieve in mid-side processing today is perceived loudness without pumping reverbs and or maybe just some additional stereo width without any obvious compression. That's why we thought it makes sense to treat the Fairchild to another external MS matrix to make it even more useful for the more modern workflow. But if you still want the original vintage experience and functionality, don't worry, the lateral vertical mode is still available. And before we even start, I'll set up the Fairchild in a way that's more useful for mid-side operation. I'll disable the sidechain link, I'll disable the controls link, I will start with the threshold maxed out, so we start with no compression. And I will start with a, let's say, a little bit lower, more gentle ratio, because I don't want to squash things too much. Okay, all set up, let's go. Fill up with changing crowds Climbing higher and higher than we'd ever been prior Just to leave a mark Climbing higher and higher than we'd ever been prior Just to leave a mark But never wondering why Despite all this time we were lacking
the sky, but it isn't enough, so we build them up. We fill folks with concrete, line up on broken feet. Never wondering why, when we look to the sky, nothing seems real. Heavy VCA style compression used in parallel is practically a default example of the famous New York style compression. The density and glue that this kind of compressor is known for can, if done a bit too heavy handedly, unfortunately come with a price of reduced punch and too much pumping. So some smart mixing engineers came up with the idea of simply mixing back in some of the original track with untouched transients and dynamics. This way we can have the best of both worlds density, movement and snap of the compressed signal and spatial depth and transient weight of the uncompressed original. So in a nutshell, if you want to bring up the low level detail and add some content to a mix that may otherwise sound a bit boring or empty, without sacrificing the character of the transients, this is the method to go for. Use a fastish attack, a release that fits the song, mid to high ratio in the 6 to 1 ballpark and just go for it. It will sound somewhat unusable by itself, but if you blend it slowly into the dry version of the track, well, let's have a listen. Before we do, a short explanation of what's going on. I've bypassed the pull tech EQ, I've bypassed the mastering equalizer, and I've bypassed the precision limiter. So we're only going to be listening to what's going on with the VCA compressor.
stop looking up. Wall so high to the sky, but it isn't enough, so we build them up. We fill faults with concrete, line up on broken feet. Never wondering why, when we look to the sky, nothing seems for real. Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope you at least got something useful out of it, but if you think that something still needs some additional explanation, please leave the questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for your time, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!